Have you ever pondered over the most unusual dinosaurs that once roamed the Earth? Welcome to a journey where we'll be exploring the fascinating world of these creatures, teeming with awe-inspiring diversity and intriguing peculiarities. Now, when we consider what makes a dinosaur unusual, it's not just about size, although some of them certainly did outgrow their peers by an impressive margin. It's also about their unique features, spikes, horns and frills that could be as beautiful as they were deadly. And let's not forget abilities. Some dinosaurs had talents that would put modern animals to shame. From the towering giants that shook the ground beneath them to the nimble predators that ruled the skies, dinosaurs were a force to be reckoned with. Each species had its own set of extraordinary characteristics that made it stand out in the prehistoric world. Ready to embark on this prehistoric adventure? Let's dive into number 6 on our list. Scene Script Say hello to the Therizinosaurus, a dinosaur that might leave you scratching your head. Have you ever seen a creature as baffling as this? The Therizinosaurus, with its peculiar features, leaves us with more questions than answers. This dinosaur was a species of theropod, a group typically known for their carnivorous diet. Yet, strangely enough, the Therizinosaurus was a herbivore. That's right, this massive creature, which could grow up to 30 feet in length, preferred a salad over a steak. But what truly sets the Therizinosaurus apart are its hands. This dinosaur was equipped with the longest claws of any known animal. Each one of these claws could grow up to 3 feet in length. Can you imagine the size of those nail clippers? Despite their intimidating appearance, these claws were not used for hunting or fighting. Instead, they were likely used for foraging, helping the Therizinosaurus reach and pull down high branches full of tasty leaves. In terms of size, the Therizinosaurus was no slouch either. It was one of the largest theropods and could weigh up to 5 tons. That's about the same as a modern-day elephant. Despite its size and fearsome claws, this dinosaur was a gentle giant, preferring to munch on plants rather than other dinosaurs. The Therizinosaurus, a gentle giant with a terrifying appearance. Now, on to number 5. Next up is the Microraptor, a dinosaur that could have given birds a run for their money. This petite creature, about the size of a crow, was a sight to behold. With bird-like features that were beyond its time, the Microraptor was a unique player on the prehistoric stage. The Microraptor was a part of the Dromaeosaurid family, a group of dinosaurs known for their bird-like characteristics. However, the Microraptor took this likeness to the next level. It had not just two, but four wings, one pair on its forelimbs and another on its hind limbs. Imagine the spectacle it must have been, a four-winged dinosaur gliding through the prehistoric skies. Oh, did I just say gliding? Well therein lies a debate that has kept paleontologists on their toes. Could the Microraptor actually fly, or was it merely a graceful glider? Some argue that the structure of its wings and feathers, similar to modern birds, indicate a capacity for powered flight. Others maintain that its body shape and weight distribution were more suited for gliding from tree to tree, much like a flying squirrel. Whether it was a flyer or a glider, one thing is certain. The Microraptor was an evolutionary masterpiece. Its distinct features and the ongoing debate about its abilities make it a fascinating subject of study, even millions of years later. The Microraptor, a true prehistoric marvel. But hold on to your hats because number 4 is coming up. At number 4 we have the Stygimoloch, a dinosaur that was all about using its head. This dinosaur is most recognized for its unique skull, which has an array of formidable horns and a dome-like structure. This dome, made from a thick layer of bone, is one of the most distinctive features of the Stygimoloch. Now one might wonder what this dinosaur used its unusual skull for. Well, according to many paleontologists, the Stygimoloch likely used its sturdy dome for headbutting, much like the modern-day bighorn sheep. These head-to-head -head combat scenarios could have been a way for the Stygimoloch to establish dominance or compete for mates. However, not all scientists agree on this theory. Some believe that the domed skull was used for something else entirely, perhaps even for display or intimidation. As such, the exact usage of the Stygimoloch's distinctive skull remains a topic of ongoing debate within the scientific community. Further adding to the intrigue, there's also a heated discussion about the Stygimoloch's taxonomy. Some experts argue that the Stygimoloch is not a separate species at all, but rather a juvenile form of the Pachycephalosaurus, another dinosaur known for its domed skull. This theory though not universally accepted adds another layer of mystery to this unusual dinosaur, the Stygimoloch, a dinosaur that truly stands out. Now let's move on to number 3. 
Coming in at number 3 is the Amargosaurus, a dinosaur that was all about making a statement. This dinosaur, which roamed the Earth in the early Cretaceous period, was certainly not a shrinking violet. Its name, which translates to La Amarga Lizard, is a tribute to its discovery site in Argentina. The Amargosaurus was a sauropod, a group of dinosaurs known for their size. But even among these giants, the Amargosaurus stood out. It was relatively small for a sauropod, measuring around 30 feet long, but its neck was adorned with two rows of extraordinary spines, some reaching up to two feet in length, making it one of the most distinctive dinosaurs ever discovered. These spines have puzzled scientists for years, with theories about their function ranging from defense to display. Some hypothesize that these spines could have been used to ward off predators, while others suggest they might have been a way to attract a mate, much like the beautiful plumage of some modern birds. Another theory is that these spines could have been a cooling system, with blood circulating through them to help the dinosaur regulate its body temperature. And then, there's the fantastic idea that these spines supported a sail-like structure, although this is still a subject of debate. The Amargosaurus, a dinosaur that knew how to turn heads, but wait until you see number two. At number two, we have the Pachycephalosaurus, a dinosaur that was literally hard-headed. The Pachycephalosaurus, whose name means thick-headed lizard, was indeed just that. This dinosaur boasted a dome-shaped skull that was up to 10 inches thick, that's thicker than your average bowling ball. This unique feature has sparked quite a bit of speculation among paleontologists. Many theories abound about this dinosaur's headbutting behavior. Some scientists believe these dinosaurs used their thick skulls to engage in head-to-head -head combat, much like modern-day rams. Others suggest that these dinosaurs might have used their skulls to flank each other, aiming for the sides, rather than direct hits. This debate continues to capture the imagination of dinosaur enthusiasts worldwide. But it's not just the scientific community that's intrigued by this peculiar dinosaur. The Pachycephalosaurus has also made quite a name for itself in pop culture. From its appearances in movies, TV shows, and video games, this hard-headed dinosaur has become a fan favorite. You might have seen it butting heads with other dinosaurs in a certain blockbuster movie franchise, or as a collectible figurine in a popular toy line. The Pachycephalosaurus's unique attributes continue to captivate us, reminding us of the diverse and fascinating world that existed millions of years ago. This dinosaur certainly knew how to use its head both literally and figuratively. The Pachycephalosaurus, a dinosaur that was all about head games. Now get ready for our number one pick. And finally at number one meet the Spinosaurus, the dinosaur that swam its way into the record books. The Spinosaurus is a name that echoes with prestige and intrigue in the annals of paleontology. This creature, whose name literally means spine lizard, was a force to be reckoned with in its time. It was a dinosaur that not only walked the land but also prowled the waters of the early Cretaceous period, about a hundred million years ago. Now, let's talk size. The Spinosaurus was no small fry. In fact it was the largest of all known carnivorous dinosaurs, even outsizing the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex and Gigantosaurus. It's estimated that the Spinosaurus could reach lengths of up to 60 feet and weigh in at a colossal 20 tons. That's quite a lot of dinosaur! Arguably the most distinctive feature of the Spinosaurus was its sail. This impressive feature supported by long tall spines stretched along the dinosaur's back giving it a unique and striking silhouette. While the exact purpose of this sail is still debated among scientists, hypotheses range from it being used for display and intimidation to regulating body temperature. What really sets the Spinosaurus apart from its dinosaur brethren however, is its semi-aquatic lifestyle. This beast was essentially the dinosaur equivalent of a modern-day crocodile, equally adept at hunting on land and in water. Fossil evidence suggests that it had a long slender skull and conical teeth, perfect for catching fish, and strong flat claws for grappling with prey. The Spinosaurus's adaptations for an aquatic lifestyle, its immense size, and that unmistakable sail, make it a standout among dinosaurs. It's a creature that challenges our preconceptions about these ancient beasts, showing us that they were far more diverse and adaptable than we might have imagined. The Spinosaurus, a dinosaur that truly broke the mold, and with that we've come to the end of our countdown of the most unusual dinosaurs. Thanks for joining us on this prehistoric journey. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for all future Super 6 videos.